The Inside Sleeve with Robbie Buck on RN. Well, now using the wonders of radio technology, I've removed myself from the usual studio and you and I are standing in a, a really wonderful giant hall. It's the Eugene Goosens Hall, which is sort of in the basement of the ABC building. It's uh, a room which is usually used for uh, the Sydney Symphony Orchestra to uh, rehearse and perform. But today I'm here for some music without any instruments even though there are two very beautiful grand pianos uh, in the room. The reason for that is that I'm joined by the three members of Melbourne a cappella group Aluka, uh, Sally, Rachel and Annabelle. Hello. Hello. We're here to talk about and sample voice, which is nice. I'm always interested in, to, in why or how uh, musicians would move toward just performing only with voice. What was the story for you three? Mm, First the answer, true yeah. The... <laughs> yeah, the true one actually. Yeah. The true one is just that we're such great friends, and we um, had to do a performance at uni, and um, and we just thought, well, you know, bugger getting a band, and you know, dealing with flaky boy musicians. Um, we like hanging out together. Let's just. Let's just um, do it just with the three of us. Who can be bothered, you know, carrying a guitar yeah, around and so a drum boring. kit? <laughs> <laughs> Pure laziness, really. Yeah. So it wasn't actually the genre that appealed to us so much as... It, it's an amazing genre, but it was more just the fact that we got to hang out, you know. It was the ease of it. Totally, and just, you know, the fact that we could drink cups of tea and gossip and rehearse at the same time was pretty appealing. And it still is, four years later. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, let's take a little listen to those vocal chords in action. Um, I love the way you've got a, a, a small implement in your back pocket that you pull out. What's that? This is our little pitch pipe. He's a little bit sick at the moment, but he's still doing his job. So it's, it's almost like a, a circular harmonica, isn't it, with yeah, just one, one mouthpiece? Yeah, yeah and kind of feel correct. guilty that we have two grand beha- pianos yeah, no, behind yeah. us and we're using this little thing. But We'll, we'll leave that to the experts. <laughs> grand piano business. There you are, close up on the... Yeah, good, excellent. Good. <laughs> okay. Trying to keep a cool, trying to keep a cool, trying to keep a cool, trying to keep a cool. I'm trying to keep my cool, but you're looking so good. I'm trying to keep my cool, but you're looking so good. I'm trying to keep my cool, but you're looking so good. I'm trying to keep my cool, trying to keep my cool. You walk in the room, my ears will go But you're looking so good. I'm trying to keep my cool. But you're looking so good. I'm trying to keep my cool. Trying to keep my cool. My body's moving in a slightly awkward way. Was a tumble loud spoken to a mouth? Is this the way? That a saint girl has. Is this the way that a saint girl has? Passing over me, get it inside my head, filling me up to my brim, making me think of nothing but he, nothing but he. I'm 
trying to keep my cool, but you're looking so good. I'm trying to keep my cool, but you're looking so good. I'm trying to keep my cool, but you're looking so good. I'm trying to keep my cool, trying to keep my cool. Trying to keep my cool, 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 trying to keep my cool. Wasn't that fantastic? The sounds of Aluka uh, performing live here in the Eugene Goosens Hall at the uh, the ABC. And Keep My Cool, which is, I guess, the first taste of their debut album, which is coming out next year. I, I feel like holding my breath there. There's a certain, you know, there's a, a, a sensitivity to the whole thing when you strip away the instruments uh, that gives you that, it's almost an intimacy, isn't it? Uh, was that something that you had to come to terms with when you first started singing together? That you're not hiding behind a piano or oh, yeah. a, a double <laughs> bass or anything like that, are you? It's very vulnerable. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you can't look back at the bass player and go, well, what did you do, dude? It's like, yeah. no, it's us. What was that <laughs> so what are the, uh, the reference points for you guys when you are starting to um, pursue an a cappella uh, journey, if you like? What are the, uh, the artists or the groups or the, um, the people that have come before you that uh, have informed what you, you're doing? I think that we all had an experience when we were um, in primary school having Coco's Lunch come and perform to us, which was pretty special. And that maybe planted the little seed in our, you know, seven-year-old minds that this is a kind of cool thing to do. Mm. But since then, um, it's kind of, it it hasn't necessarily been a cappella, but everything else, all, you know, um, be it, you know, funk music or pop music or, you know, we're all very into the Spice Girls. Um, <laughs> and Beyonce. And Beyonce. <laughs> so, you know, like it's, it's not so much genre specific as it is just, you know, things that we're into. Um, and then we go away and I guess we take those influences and just write, write songs inspired by that, but without instruments. Mm. So, yeah. Is that, I take it, the challenge of not having uh, extra tones, extra instruments, extra bells and whistles when you're just dealing with your own voice? I mean, how do you navigate that process of songwriting? I think you've got to surrender a little bit and let go and um, it's nice to be comfortable with people. We have such close friends but I suppose our rehearsals sort of consist of us pressing record on some sort of recording device and making all the silly sounds that we can make and opening up to what the human voice can do and not just singing la-las and oohs. And so I think it's partly that. So also imitating sounds that you hear in everyday life. Um, So yeah. Mm. For the recorded part of what Aluka does, um, you've headed out to some fairly unorthodox spaces <laughs> to record, haven't you? What have you done? Oh, gosh. <laughs> We've been everywhere in Victoria. Um, we were lucky enough to get an arts grant from the Victorian government, which was awesome. Um, and we've, yeah, so we've been going to farms, swimming pools. We had to do that one twice because the first swimming pool, there was just a gigantic fan <laughs> the whole time. And So and it, it, was the swimming pool empty or? No, no, no full. No. Right. Yeah. And um, we've got an amazing producer called Nick Huggins, who is basically, um, he makes it sound really good. So we have these wacky ideas and we're like, yeah, let's do that and this and this. And he's like, yep, okay, great. Make it possible. It possible. It be, because it possible. where we're standing here in the mom- at the moment, the, you can hear the, the reverb. Hello, a, hello. Yeah, there's a, little, <laughs> there's a bit of natural reverb. But of course, this is a, a specially designed space for mm. you know, refined performances, swimming pools and stairwells, they aren't so much. Are you, are you, what's your philosophy about having extraneous noises uh, filtering in while you're doing it? Oh, we love it. We love it. Yeah. There is a line. Yeah. But, um... well, I suppose the idea of the album is to embrace the sound of each different room. Every, sound, every room comes with a sound, which I didn't actually realise before we started this album. It was Annabelle came up with this amazing idea. And I was going, you won't tell the difference if we're in a different room, but... <laughs> Yeah, if you're in a barn, there's chickens, and if you're in a pool, there's splashing, and yeah. and so we did embrace those sounds. But you know, we had some days where there, were, you know, when we're on the farm, there's a motorbike going past. I'm like, no, that's not what we wanted. Yeah. So you have to sort of. Yeah. You have to be discriminating about what noises <laughs> yeah. you'd like. Sometimes be like, is this working? Is this not? Do we leave? Do we stay? You know, do we leave it for half an hour and see if you know the rev head 
over the back paddock <laughs> shuts up. Or, you know. Okay, well, there's uh, unfortunately no chickens in the Eugene Goosens <laughs> Hall today, nor are there any uh, riff heads with their motorbikes. <laughs> but uh, I, I am joined today by Sally, Annabelle and Rachel from Melbourne a cappella group uh, Aluka. And since we've got you here, maybe we should do one more song. Okay. Sure. What would you like to do for us? Um, we'll do a song which is um, called Body and it's, oh, I don't know what to say about it. It was recorded, I've gone blank. Where did we record oh, it? At the, um, uh, oh, at, the, at a secret Yeah, location. I, was, I wasn't Actually. sure whether to say it. All I can oh. say is they had to lift me, and um, if you can't see me, I'm pregnant, through a window to get me into it. So It may or may not have been illegal. <laughs> We live yes. on the edge, Aluka. Yeah, so we can't, we can't actually tell you, but we can wow. tell you that it was an amazing sound. <laughs> Strangely enough, when you think of a cappella groups, you don't think of break and enter. But <laughs> obviously, <laughs> we're rewriting the rules of what a cappella is, aren't we? We're hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Aluka with us today. Um, let's take a little listen to Body.
Oh, wow, wasn't that fantastic? <laughs> the three members of Aluka performing for you uh, today here on the Inside Sleeve. And that song called Body, which I imagine we'll probably hear on the album next week, uh, next year when it um, finally comes out. Uh, Rachel, Sally and Annabelle, thank you ever so much for coming in. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Ta-da. Thanks, guys. Oh, pleasure. Yeah. Oh, thanks for lovely. having us. This is sounded great. Lovely space. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know. It is, isn't it? It's really fabulous. Next album in here. <laughs> <laughs> Way easier. Oh, I like the idea of the single. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Sore arm. RN. Your world unfolding. <laughs>